Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, you have the Rhino. We're looking at a beer. Today's beer is from High Key Brewing Company. And it is 5.5% alcohol by volume. And High Key is in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. This is a pomegranate pale ale. I love pomegranates and I hate pomegranates at the same time. One, they're too expensive because you get nothing out of them. You really don't. And two, you only eat the seeds. So what good are they really? Now, I didn't read this all that much to see if it said, a real summertime hit, the pomegranate pale ale is brewed with locally grown two-row barley and fruity hops Eldorado and Azaka, infused with dried pomegranate and rose hip. It's, tr it's a tropical beer with a crisp hop finish. Okay, so that kind of makes sense. Because I was going to say as I poured this, pomegranates destroy clothes all the time. That don't look like no pomegranate juice is in here deep deep red slash purple depending on the pomegranate um so but saying it was infused with rose hips and dry pomegranate okay i can i can see that so i'll take back my i'm going to make fun of you for giving me this however they have made one of the best beers i've had since being here which is the london fog so i can't make fun of them all that much Tiniest bit of snap, crackle, pop on there. Little tiny bit of haze. Brassy color. Scent out of the glass. Out of the glass, it smells like licorice with a little bit of pomegranate. Out of the can. Smells like pomegranate gin, which I mean, the rose hips would help make that scent. Um, so both ways, I can smell pomegranate. Both ways, smells pretty good. Can't, can't fault it so far. Other than the fact that I don't like, I like the color, but I don't like the color when you tell me it's a pomegranate beer. I think that's my, that's my only conclusion right now. And again, this is digressing out of knowing now what's in it. Uh, originally, I just thought it was pomegranates, you know, like they took the seeds, they juiced it, or they added juice, or whatever. And I was expecting a much darker beer, and much richer beer in head color. And then reading that it was dried pomegranate, it let me step back. But I think I'm still having a hard time wrapping my head around this color for a pomegranate beer. Because I've had pomegranate beers in the past, and they usually have some color to them. It's not like a watermelon beer where, where at best, a slight pink hue in the head is probably what you're going to get because of how mild, like, the juice color is. This stuff is bright. This stuff, like, can stain my skin, but I'm albino, so what the fuck is that? Cheers, let's try it. Okay. Okay. That. Oh, I don't know if you just saw the sludge fall out of there. Oh, no. Oh. Did I get the computer? No, I didn't. Okay. I just got me. Okay. Well. My dog will like that. Um, it is now very hazy. Very hazy. I did not expect it to have splooge at the bottom. But it did. Didn't change the flavor though. So, here's where we're at. Forefront, sweet maltiness that fades into like a cherry nib flavor that fades into a in-your-face pomegranate flavor, that fades into a 
earthy bitterness with a little bit of floral on it. Very well-rounded beer, very well-made beer, very intriguing flavors. And yes, if I had this cold and it was a hot day, I could see this being a summer pleaser. I really could. Now, in the at the end of February, when it's when the plane winds are blowing and all that, don't know if I could say that I could see this being a great choice for me at this point in time because a lot of beers take into account where you're having them and what you're doing with them. And I don't know if it would be great with this one. That being said, I do really like it regardless. I'm just saying that I don't think I would sit back with a four pack of it in the middle of the winter. But um, on my back porch barbecuing uh, with some guests and it's really hot out, I could see myself drink four or five of these easily without a without a complaint, without anything, right? Like, oh yeah, but I got, I got a pomegranate beer, bitches. Boom, bang, right? Like, it's a good beer. Yeah, I really enjoy that. I really do. Now, is that in the, I'd buy it again and really enjoy it? Or is it in upper echelon or is it in top tier? It's not top tier for me. I'm sure there are people that love this beer and would kill for this beer. And all there are, there will be people that will do that for any beer. Hell, there's people that do that for like earthquake high gravity lager. So, I mean, this one will have it too. Is it top tier? Oh, no, we already went that it's not top tier. Is it upper echelon? Or is it, you know, a solid beer I would buy again? Or is it just a good beer that I would drink without complaint? I think, given the right circumstances, it is a beer I would buy again. And for that reason, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, but again, it's a circumstantial beer. It's not a beer that I would buy in the winter if I saw it. But if this is like... June 30th, and I'm at the Sobeys Liquor or something, and I see a four-pack of that sitting on the shelf, I would go, hey, you know what? I liked that. Let's get it cold. Let's enjoy it, and I'd buy it. So there you go. Thank you. Bye.